June 11, Thursday, Memorial of St. Barnabas, Apostle and Martyr, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you live. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, Let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel narrates the commissioning of the twelve as Jesus gives them instructions on how they should proclaim the kingdom of heaven. Jesus enumerates the ministries the twelve will exercise, curing the sick, raising the dead, cleansing the lepers, and driving out demons. The power to exercise this is generously given them by God. Jesus reminds them to be generous because appropriation and entitlement, which are hindrances to mission, are generated by a tight-fisted attitude. The Greek adverb dorian as a free gift, or without cost, repeated in verse 8, strongly qualifies the mission of Jesus' disciples to be coming from the generous God whose kingdom must be proclaimed to the people and be felt by them through the disciples' words and deeds. The mission to proclaim God's kingdom is a free gift that nobody truly deserves. Anybody entrusted with such a mission must carry it out in generosity. What do we think is our present mission as Jesus' followers? Do we see it as a gift? In what way can we exercise generosity in our mission?